For 25 years, Father Toto has been doing social work in Shantytown 21, located in the south of Buenos Aires. But since Javier Millet became president, the eight soup kitchens he runs have been cut off of food assistance from the government. Just like the other thousands of soup kitchens in the country, they now only run thanks to private donations and volunteers. Every day, they have to keep working with a little bit less. Recently, I had to split a packet of pasta in half in order to share it between two soup kitchens. It had never happened before, not even during the worst crisis. We literally have to scrape the bottom of the barrel. But demand for food keeps on growing. Inflation, now an interannual rate of 289%, has destroyed the purchasing power of Argentinians, which had already been battered by many years of crisis. Those who could keep their head above water, like Miguel, are now drowning. These past three months, he has been forced to come here to get his food. All the prices have gone up so much, I can't make ends meet anymore, so that way at least I save a little bit of money. I would like not to have to come, but I have no choice. What else can I do? Without food to hand out, dozens of soup kitchens have already had to shut down. These women contributed their own money to buy the food for this activist distribution center. This is our own way of protesting and saying to the government to give back the food. But in almost six months of this new far-right administration, no answer has been given. It's inhumane to gamble like this with the hunger of the people. An Argentinian court has recently forced the government to distribute 6,000 tons of food stored by the former administration, an amount insufficient compared to the magnitude of the food crisis in the country.